Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel Love Stories. Today I'm going to do your online psychic love reading for the month of October. Keep in mind that these readings are general. This may be resonant with you or maybe not resonant with each and every one of you. If it resonates with you, that's amazing. And if it's not resonant with you, you can simply ignore it. Let's get started. Aries, what are the Aries person's feeling, thinking and intentions towards Aries? What are the Aries person's feeling, thinking and intentions towards Aries? What are the Aries person's feeling, thinking and intentions towards Aries? And we are having here Eight of Wands, Ten of Sword, Death, Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Aries. What are the Aries feeling, thinking and intentions towards this person? What are the Aries feeling, thinking and intentions towards this person? We are having here Two of Sword. Six of Wands, Page of Sword, Emperor. What are the mutual energies, Aries? Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. These are your cards and sign that could relate it to your person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight of Wands, Six of Wands. Aries with this Emperor. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this Ten of Sword, Two of Sword, Page of Sword. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. Scorpio with this death card. Let's talk about your person's feeling, Aries, and your person want to talk to you. They will send you some kind of text message and they will in a really passionate way, in a really emotional way. They want to talk to you with this eight of wands. They will send you some kind of text message because the reason, the major reason, I think you giving them some kind of uh, ending to this person, some kind of transformation. When table turns, queen flipped. Some kind of flip, some kind of sudden change in you. You are changed now. And now this person wants to talk to you about this change. Why you are changing? Why you are just, you know, turning the table? So it's a turning table point for this person. And they want to talk to you. But this conversation between you two is a dead end for this person. It will be, a, you know, become a dead end for them. Because this is the ten of sword in this person's chart. It's made this person really sad and you will give them a really sad ending. So it's an ending for them. Something is, you know, sometimes it's not like that, a breakup. I know in my experience a lot of breakups, breakups and patchups. But sometimes few things in every time when two people fight, they learn something and they drop something. So they learn it's a good thing. Sometimes it's positive. Sometimes something is changed between two people. Like you never trust this person in a specific way. Some certain points you don't trust that person. You don't rely on this person. You can't count on this person. Sometimes these kind of minor change become a really big change. If we feel it, if the other person feel that, it's not just a minor change. Somebody, the loved one, not trusting you. It's not a small thing. It's a really major problem for a person. You love somebody and that somebody not considering, considering you nobody, not trusting you. It's a really big deal for you. So it's an ending. Some kind of things, some kind of maybe trust, sometimes love. The, you know, uh, between two people, there is a, a lot of unseen bound and strings. We cut it every time. When we do something irrational, we cut these things. This person got this, this ending, some kind of ending, some kind of, sometimes it's a big, for a few of Aries is a major change. Sometimes it's silent, silently table turns, that kind of ending this person for them and it's a really sad full thing for them they are just in a roller coaster they don't know how why where to start and what is happening everything is in your favor you are the remedy you are the cure of their pain and they just they are just like you looking towards you you will heal them you will hold them you will save them from this pain you give this pain and only you can redeem them only you can ease them that's why this is a first card in this person's chart. They want to talk to you. 
this is this person's intentions towards you and they are really the feelings they are really sad current situation only you can fix them what is happening between you two ending same veterans some kind of change and for you aries it's not that easy to take a decision you are sitting in a two way there is a two path in front of you and you don't know what should you do about in this matter and but you think you you are doing good you know actually when you put your fears aside put your feelings aside no fears no feelings just logic when you look deeper into compatibility and then take decision you are using your logic and brain here just to check the compatibility we capable for each other or not we suitable each other or not despite of all the fears all the insecurities and all the loving emotions and feelings and you are that's how you become victorious right now maybe you are indecisive and don't know lack of information but you going to be victorious you are victorious here whatever you doing whatever happening it's in in your favor dignity in you pride in you all are you are doing the right thing actually victory is means you are when you do right thing and some kind of suspicious activities around you you think this person is not that you know mentally not that mature your thinking level and this person's thinking level not compatible they are immature in their thoughts and their feelings they react differently you think about the 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 way you look towards life the angle your angle is different this person's angle is different and i think this person is not that mature the way you are and you are a really wise person you are responsible you know how to hold on this getting a position is a thing but holding on this position and pro- progress is a different type of thing and you are doing really good here you are doing the right thing aries you are you are just you know this person is not that some kind of suspicious activities around you you are responsible you know how to hold on things and you are managing things this person think like that you are really moody here it's not about your mood it's about how this person make you feel about them how you become when this person is around you don't feel comfortable to talk to them about your feelings and emotions you reserve yourself and some kind of you know you think this person is a little bit polite and not flirtatious towards you but you know this is not a right time and not these pick up lines can fix the problem this person need to go deeper let's see what else we have for you aries what else we have for aries these cards escape from deck magician three of it four of cups and moon this person want to control the situation they are manifesting on you stepping out of their comfort zone and try to control everything all of their feelings stability their pentacles their thoughts their passion all they just want to put in a same purpose want to use these all things in a same purpose for same purpose and they are want to control you they want to control the situation they want to control their feelings whatever the transformation the changing changes between you to the roller coaster between you to this person want to control that you are stubborn here and you are really focused on the things that you got in your life and not ready for this new thing right now you are rejecting this person or maybe not accepting anything from this person and this is the same thing when you reject somebody and not accept anything from a person you are just so focused on the things you already have and not looking for any new thing from this person this person offering you this cup but you are not receiving it and this person is in fears upcoming days you feel insecure this person feel insecure both of you when you know we don't know we were really restless and we think what is happening everything is fine but why i feel these kind of insecure vibes your person is insecure they losing you you are you feeling this person's insecurities we something slipping from your hands 
something you guys losing in all of it some kind of insecurities maybe you think this person deceiving you not so clear about this person's intentions this person's conscious maybe not that clear in your matter you are insecure in, in this way and this person is insecure you are changing you are maybe you never ever trust them and take them back that kind of things between you two and if they are planning about against you or for you so it's it's now it's become insecure situation for them with this moon card let's see what else we have for you and what should you do about this person this card stick three of cups again knight of cups in this ace of cups this third party situation between you two somebody definitely between you two this person is you know maybe they think you are having somebody because your mood is really cool romantic and good hair maybe you are going on a date with on with somebody in upcoming days sometimes certainly things happens uh, suddenly sorry suddenly things happens and we don't even realize that slightly silently someone enters in your life and you do things that maybe you not focus on but these things happens so third party situation maybe from your side aries and emotions that totally overwhelmed and out of control this person is totally emotional towards you this it could be any kind of emotions sometimes it's love sometimes it's sadness sometimes it's overwhelming tears that this person is just you know heavy heart a lot of you know overwhelming emotions and feelings and it could be any kind of negative positive loving caring any kind of emotions but they do have a lot of emotions towards you and they're offering you they want affection they want love they want trust they want all of you this is the roller coaster in them with this ace of cups let's see what else we have for you what's your angel want to add in this reading now that you have asked the angel for help be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance you deserve heaven's help if you are looking for help you know this is not a good thing when you are this indecisive you definitely somewhere deep down you looking for help and you are just you when you are insecure you are looking for help help is there there is you know helping you will you will feel that everything is turned into your favor let's see what else we have for you aries believe in destiny enjoy this time this time seek for truth focus on yourself these are few advice messages in the end and somebody of your reading is aries this person is really sad some kind of changing between you two and you are giving this person some kind of ending some kind of transformation table turns queen flip this person will send you some kind of text message and try to control the situation you are doing the right thing actually i know there is fears and feelings and this person is not that grown up mentally and thoughts but you know how to control things and you know how to maintain your position you are not receiving anything from this person and there is a third party situation between you two from maybe your side aries these are some bits of your readings hope this helpful for you thank you god bless you